Hey guys, welcome to Plumbing with Tim. Today we're in beautiful Melbourne Beach, Florida, here to work on a well system and try to change a pressure switch on a pump. So let's go. So this is a two pump system. This is the outside pump, uh, aerator tank, and inside is another pump for the house. The problem that we're having here today is this pump doesn't want to shut off, keeps clipping on and off, on and off. Looks kind of rough because we're on the beach side. Uh, this pump's seen better days, so Eventually, it's going to need to get replaced, but it still does run, but it just won't shut off. So we're going to take the pressure switch off of here and put a new one in here and see if that works. You see the yellow cord going in through the wall. I've already unplugged it. That's essential before you work on any pumps, electric, anything, is unplug or cut the breaker off to the pump before you start working. So let's get this thing off of here. All right, so the first thing we're going to do with this old pressure switch, there's a little knob that's on the top, is take... You can get that off there. You might need to put a channel on for something. This is how you're going to take the top off this thing. All right. Once we pull this off, you'll see all the electrical connections and stuff. See that? All right. At this point, you can look inside of that cap and tell what kind of pressure switch that is, if it's a 2040 or 3050. So in this case, this is rated as... I'm having a hard time reading that. Looks like a 3050 switch. All right, so that's what we brought with us today. Here's the replacement right here. We're gonna take this entire assembly out of here and replace it with the new one and see if that helps out with our problem. All right, so now as you can see down here in the electrical and stuff, the two middle wires are the ones that are going to the pump and the two outsides are the feeds coming from your power source. So we need to disconnect that and get in here. There's a little nut right there. Disconnect that. If you look carefully down underneath here, I don't think you can see it on that right there. That's your little water pressure. That's how this pressure switch gauges how much pressure is being brought in. So that's got to be taken off and put onto the new system as well. Safety first. We've got a multimeter and we're going to take and put our leads on here and make sure there's no power, even though I unplugged it. All right, now we've uh, decided that there's no power coming in here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take these leads off of here. If we can, there's a lot of rust because we are on the beach side. Just back them out. There's the first one. Now remember, if you forget how these lines go together, take yourself a picture. That way, when it comes to putting it back together, see, that one's giving me some problems. So we're going to have to, so is that one. Outside leads are doing okay see that all right i have a hard time doing this one handed broke that one loose if you can't remember how this one back together take a picture with your phone that way you can have reference when you put this thing back together that it all broke loose and all our leads are completely off the top here and our next deal is down here is a nut we need to get this nut loosened up so this whole thing come off but before we do that we're going to go back down to that pressure line and we're going to disassemble that so here we go with that Go ahead and take this thing off of here. Now there is a ground as well. It needs to come off here, I forgot to tell you. Let me get that loosened up. We can pull this whole cord assembly out of here. All right, bear with me. A little bit of patience goes a long ways. All right, there's our cord. We're gonna have to take this whole assembly off here to get it out, because it's stuck in there. Now you guys can't see what I'm doing. Let's see if I can get that up there a little bit more. Get this cord off here. Remember, we're on the beach. There's a lot of rust in the salt air. So we're fighting against the elements at this point. We just need to get this out. Okay, wire lead out of there. Now we're going to have to save this as well as a nut that's up in here to put it on our new one. Now let's get that pressure line off. Might still be a little bit of water sitting in here. Let's take and pull that off. There we go. See, still got a little bit of water sitting in there. Just let it out. Go ahead and move the tools out of the way so we don't get soaked out of here. All right, there's still going to be some water that's in this line. So we're going to have to kind of let it out. Just let it go. This has water in here because it's back feeding from the area of your tank. So we're kind of just diverting it out the way. Now this part right here has to come out of here this little plastic piece. Just be gentle with it because it's plastic on metal. Use a pair of channel locks and just back this thing out of here and save it. 
All right, so I didn't know this was an artesian well. So when I took the pressure line off the switch, it just kept coming and coming and coming and I had to put it back on there and go outside around the other side of this little well house and cut the valve off because it kept coming and coming and coming. And now that the water's off, we have the switch that's ready to come out. Nice and easy, don't skin the wires. Take your time. There, there's the old pressure switch. Save that nut. All right, here's our new pressure switch. It's up a little different. We gotta get those little rubber grommets out of there and take this thing off. Just trying to screw it part way, pull the top off, set it aside. <clears throat> Pretty much the same setup. Just put it back the same way that you took the old one out. Remember, the lead's coming from the pump, or the two in the middle, and the two outside are your power feed. Down here is where that little pressure gauge elbow that we took off with the, the pressure line goes. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw this thing back together and see if that fixes this short cycling well pump. Nice and easy, don't cross thread this. Plastic on metal, Teflon tape only. Get it as hand tight as you can. Make sure it's pointing towards the back like it was before. Just like that, that's what you're wanting to see and that's where your pressure line is gonna go back into. All right, we're putting the nut back on here that holds this pressure switch to the pump. Nice and easy. We wanted to feed those two lines from the pump through there first. Could be tricky. Take your time. Don't cross thread nothing. All right, see that? Let's get that nut on there so that secures. If you have to, you can take a flathead screwdriver. Just kind of help it out a little bit. You want this thing secure. All right. Take your time. Nobody's in a rush here. There we go. Nice and solid. Remember another thing we had to take off was where the wire lead came in from the power. And it's got a nut on the back of it just like that. So nice and gently. I'm going to take her channel locks like that. I'm just going to kind of break it loose and unscrew that thing. We're going to save this piece so we can put it on the new switch. See that? The electrical whip just like that onto the new switch there we go now we can feed our electrical whip in here and tie all the power into the new switch to do this with one hand so let me go ahead and put the two metal ones coming from the motor into the middle and then I'll get back to you after we get this hooked up and I'll show you how it looks all right there we go that's how you wire this back in remember like I said not to repeat myself but your two lines coming out of your motor 
are going to be in your center two points. It doesn't matter which side of those you do. And then your two <coughs> outside wires are coming from your power lead. And then you have your ground, which is down there. So it's all set up and ready to go. We just have to re-screw the pressure line back down to the bottom of here and put the cover back on. Don't mess with these terminals. That's how you calibrate these things. And unless you know what you're doing, you're just gonna mess the thing up, all right? Leave them, they're set to cut on at 30 pounds of pressure and to shut off at 50 pounds of pressure. So let's go ahead and let's put the cap back on and the pressure line and let's fire it up and see what we got. Make sure that's seated in there well. Yeah. Pretty much hand tighten that because that rubber seal inside of there is going to take care of the rest. Don't over tighten anything. Plastic will break with tools. Now we're all set. We just put the cover back on and we got glue that's setting up. I had to make another repair inside. So once that's all said, we'll test everything out. tricky sometimes got to catch that just right there you go it's on there that is our finished product new pressure switch out with the old one and we'll be back All right, so we plugged everything back in. As you can see, the pump is not running, so that switch was bad. Uh, the tank is full, as you can see, down inside of there. And that's how you replace a pressure switch on a well pump. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you learned something. Got any questions or concerns, please make sure to leave them down in the comments. And thank you, everybody, for your support. Stay healthy and safe. Till next time, this has been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.